Hi guys, so today I'm going to do my everyday makeup video. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for this. And I hate showing people what I look like without makeup, but I figured if you guys really want to see it, then oh well. Um, so first off, I'm going to clip my hair back with a bow so that it doesn't get in my face while I'm doing my makeup. And also because I know I annoy a lot of people when I touch my hair. So <laughs> there we go. Um, so I've already put on my foundation. I wear... Clinique's Even Better Foundation in 02. Um, I think this is a rip on. It's really old and like literally out, but I use a brush and get in there. Um, but it's in light G3. I think it's rip on, as I said. Um, and then I use Clinique's powder. Um, this is Stay O2 Stay Neutral, and it's the Stay Matte Sheer Press Powder Oil Free. So I've been using this for a while and the other Clinique foundation. I really like them. Um, so first, I'm going to use the Naked 2 palette. I got this for Christmas. Um, I really don't like the brushes that come in this, but so I just use this like random fluffy brush. Um, so first I'm going to use the color Foxy. Um, I'm sorry if this isn't good, guys. I've never done a video like this. I'm just going to put it all over my eyes. I'm really not actually very good at makeup. I do like the same exact thing every single day with very slight changes ever. Like if I change it, and it's extremely rare, so. All right, so I have Foxy all over my lids. And then, can I put this, there we go. Then I'm gonna use this matte like reddish brown color called Swiss Chocolate. It's a matte color. Um, this is actually my second one of this. I've been using this for years. I think I got this in like 8th grade. Um, and for reference, I'm a freshman in college now. Um, and I used to just use this on my lids. And I remember I went to the MAC count counter, um, at Macy's. And the lady told me that it's an eye brightener and it would look really good on me. And I should just buy it. And I knew nothing about makeup, so I just bought it. Uh, and she was right. It, like, makes my eyes look bluer and I really like it. So, I'm just going to take a bit of this. I just put that in my crease. Mm -hmm. And then I just use my fingers sometimes to blend it out a little bit. So there you go, that's that. Um, the colors, it's looking a lot brighter like in the camera. Like if you were to look in my mirror right now, this looks really like not that intense at all, like really natural, but in the camera for some reason it's looking like very purpley and like there's a lot of eyeshadow on it, but just so you know, there's not. <laughs> And then I use um, a like liquid eyeliner. I usually use the Revlon Colorstay liquid eyeliner in like the very very dark brown, but I ran out of that. Um, and I was at the mall, so I just got the Sephora one in black. Um, I do this every day, and it turns out a little bit different every day. Um, sometimes I do a really good job, and sometimes I just can't get it. So let's see how it works today. So first, what I do? Um, a tip: a lot of people ask me how to do like liquid eyeliner. Um, a lot of people will try to put it on their eye like this, and you're going to want to hold it to the side like that. Um, and so first, I just kind of do, like, a little line over the top of both eyes. Oh, I got something right there. Um, just to kind of, like, get a little base, I guess you could say. Um, I like to start in, like, the middle of my eye. I know a lot of people like to go on the inside, but I think it makes my eyes look bigger and, like, wider and brighter. Um, so then, I just drag it up, I make the line thicker, I did the mirror, hold on, this is not at all the best one I've done, but as you can see, like, I just kind of thicken the line and connect it to make a little wing. So this is with the wing and without. I like this side better. I do the other side. I'm just gonna use the mirror again this time. So I actually totally messed up and I got it like as you can see 
like right there above my eye um but in order to fix that i'd have to go get a little like cotton swab and put some eyeliner remover or some eye makeup remover on it to get rid of that and i don't really want to do that right now because that's in the other room and i'm filming a video um so here comes hold on i can pick it up really cool part that i really want to show you guys um so my eyelashes because i wear in college like i get really really lazy and i don't take off my makeup every night so my grandma caught me for christmas this thing called dream lash eyelash enhancer and it's by the salon shop um and i was really skeptical about this but it's actually really great um what it is is like those fiber mascaras you know those um Usually those just have the fibers in them and you use like a mascara, but this instead you put it on top of your mascara and it's just the fibers and it works really well. Um, I usually use a different mascara, but I can't find it and so I'm just using this Clinique one, which I really don't like and it doesn't work as well with, but you guys will get the gist. Um, so first what you have to do um, is put on mascara because it needs to be wet for the fibers to stick to your eyelashes. Okay, so now I'm going to go and grab this thing, and I have to do it over the sink so it doesn't get all over my face because it will. Just got to tap it off, and I'm just looking down into the sink and putting it on like I would any mascara. Sorry guys, one second. So as you can see, there's a really big difference now. Um, this is just all fibers. This isn't like any extra mascara. Um, so then you use mascara to kind of like seal it. And I actually like to do it twice sometimes just for like a more dramatic look. Like I like to put all the fibers a second time. Hmm. So it's time. Let me do the other eye. I'm sorry guys, I would make this video totally differently if I knew how to edit, um, so you didn't have to see everything like twice and wait for me to put things on, but I'm trying for ya. <laughs> Okay, as you can see again. So normally I think I would put on like another coat just because I like a lot of mascara, but I'm not going to just for the sake of this video. Okay, and then I use this um, Clinique. It was like a sample um, blush, and it's called Sunset Glow, and it's really really pretty, and I really like it. Um, and I just take that with my Ego Tools little blush brush. I dab that on. And I just kind of dot it on. Same thing on the other side. Hmm. Okay. And then my lips. I usually use a red lipstick. But because I'm wearing this shirt today, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and so I'm just going to take this little sample from um, the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And it's the Urban Decay Lip Punky or Lip Junky Cools and Plumps Naked. That makes sense because it comes with a naked palette. And just put that all over my lips. Okay, um, so I have to wrap this up. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is the final look. Okay, I'm about to go make a um haul video and so stay tuned and thank you for watching uh if you have any questions leave them down below and subscribe up above um like the video watch this is going to be on the wrong side but like the video if you enjoyed this um and if you have any requests just leave them below or on my page thanks guys bye